Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And yes, you have read the title and seen the thumbnail. I indeed purchased the cheapest uh, Amazon subwoofer that I could find. It was uh, $37 plus tax. It was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. And yeah, let's get into this um, and see which sub I got. So before I open the package right here, it is packaged not very well, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It is packaged by a little bit of cardboard box and the rest is tape. So it is not packaged well at all, but hopefully nothing in the sub is damaged. Normally Amazon does a great job delivering their stuff. So let's get this thing out of the box. Have you guessed it? It is going to be the Belva 12 inch subwoofer. What the hell now, guys, is even that? This subwoofer goes for $35 on Amazon. I'll pop it up on the screen and it was $37 with tax. Um, I also looked at the dual 12 inch subwoofer. It went for $29, but I saw the shipping was an extra seven, seven, eight, nine dollars or whatever. And it was actually going to be more expensive than this, than this Belva subwoofer. And I really wanted to review this thing. It is very small. It's very light here. I'm picking it up with my hand and we're going to see, uh, how good this thing is. So before I do that, I'm going to go over a little bit of the specs. It does not come with anything, guys. No, no paper, no, nothing. Bruh. So we have a, we don't have a stitch surround. We have a glute surround, the Belva symbol, no, co uh, no uh, dust cap, just the cone. Kind of like the Jensen in that way. Uh, very kind of a flimsy, cheap um, surround. Flip it over small 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 motor guys that's my hand compared to the motor daddy chill picking it up like that it is going to be a single voice coil um and you can actually it's going to be i actually i'm pretty sure, shocked that the tinsel lead are actually sewn in um i don't know if you can see it but they are sewn in i'm pretty shocked about that um that does make me feel a little bit better but on the on uh, amazon this coil is going to be 1.5 inches. It says it's black aluminum coil. I don't know how true that is. It's rated at, I'm pretty sure, 250 to 300 watts RMS. Uh, I will triple check. I'll pop up the specs on the screen right now and break this sub in and see how well this, this thing can survive. And see if, you, if any of you want to purchase one of these... I'll let you know if if you should or shouldn't. We do have uh, we do not have the normal terminals. It's going to be uh, these types of terminals. I have the connectors for them. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a two ohm sub, which is which is pretty good. Um, so I got to hook it to two ohms. Can't hook it down to anything else because it is a single voice coil, as you can see. And yeah. Uh, $37 in total for this sub and I really am excited I'm, I'm one I'm, I know I'm not I'm, normally I wouldn't be excited for anything for a 30 $35 sub but I actually kind of am I really want to break this thing in I know it's not gonna take a lot to break this thing in but um, I still like breaking in all my subs guys and I'll probably hook it into this box right there the one that the high ink is in because my tympano box is just too beefy for this thing and it doesn't have the connectors that that one would have and so let me break this sub in real quick and i'll get back to you when i finish doing that all right guys i got it i just need to drill it in but here's the belva in the box and we are reading two ohms which is great and yeah let's break this sub in hi right, guys i got it breaking in right now about half power or a little bit less than half just to get this thing loosen loosen a little bit up I'll turn it up a little bit I'll turn it up one more there we go it's about half power barely moving but I mean I can still freaking hear it I mean it's kind of shaking back there a little bit uh, but yeah, let me break this thing in and get back to you when it's all done. All right guys, so I got it broken in right here and um, I'm just gonna play a couple frequencies because I do not have two 
uh, devices on me right now, so I can't do the music thing, and I don't want to get copyrighted either. Um, I played a little bit of music. It sounds okay. Uh, nothing great. This box is definitely, definitely better for it because it's higher. It's tuned higher, and the sub is way better at producing like the 45 to 50 hertz range. I got my SMD meter over there, and let's play some hertz for us. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with uh, about 60 hertz. All right, let's get it. Guys, this is 50 hertz. Let's turn it up a little bit. This is 250 watts at 50 hertz. I don't know if you can even see it move. I mean, it's vibrating a little bit. Not that much, though. Let's go to 45. All right, guys, 45 hertz. guys those are the frequencies and ooh, that thing is pretty warm guys i'm starting to smell it a little bit oh, fuck that is pretty hot um but those are the frequencies next test i'm gonna do is the brutal rms test i'm gonna give it a little bit of time i'm gonna go work out real quick probably go back home get it give it a little bit of time to cool down and we will go along with the brutal rms test uh here's what i'm Open, hoping the four I'm hoping for about three minutes and guys on the website it doesn't have an RMS rating guys it doesn't have a fucking RMS rating it just has a 600 max uh, power rating so I'm gonna give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt I'm gonna push it 250 watts I mean for a sub like this a 1.5 inch coil I think 250 would be good enough all right let's go guys right now we're gonna do the brutal rms test 250 watts rms is what i'm gonna do um i'm not looking to blow this up so if i start to really smell it i'll turn it off next video i'll probably blow this thing um i really do want to blow this sub uh it is not the best sub i've ever had let's just say that all right let's get into the rms test that's 40 hertz let's get it Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Ah, oh, shit. Guys, I blew the fucking thing. Ah, oh, shit, guys. Damn it. I blew this fucking thing. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a it smoke's coming out as well. Fuck. We only got through a minute 42. That's... Do I suggest buying this sub... Hell no, dude! Hell no, hell no, hell no. Get a Jensen, bro. Those things lasted a lot longer than this piece of shit, dude. Leave your leave your, your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this sub. If you like this video, please hit that like button for me. This uh this really did suck. Um I, I was not hoping to blow this thing. I, I barely even smelt it too. It just blew, guys. It just blew. <sighs> Alright, well. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe as normal. Um, and yeah, guys, I mean, it is what it is. We got through a minute 42. And yeah. 
I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.